What's up guys? It's Derek from Inflatable Sup Authority. Today we are doing an on-water performance for the Tower Yachtsman. Now really I'm going to combine this with the Tower Adventure 2 because this is literally the same board pretty much, almost exactly. The only thing that is different is the design. Like you kind of see this is like an woodish kind of, I don't know what you call that, an orange or something? Anyway, so I have not tried this board yet and I have not stood on this board yet. So let's see what happens when I do. All right guys, so we are going to stand on the Tower Yachtsman, AKA the Tower Adventure 2. So you can see, I have a tiny bit of an audience, some people fishing here. So, you know, if I fall while I'm just trying to stand on this board, you know, we'll hear some cheers and that'll be fun. Okay. So, like I said, I have never stood on this board before. This is my first time actually trying it. Um, I originally got this board from my friend Yogi. So, shout out to Yogi for letting me borrow it. All right, let's get to it. Let's try to stand on the board. So like usual, we have the paddle right here to, for balance, make sure that the blade is not completely in the water. So then let's get to standing. Oh yeah. Okay, some first impressions now that I've stood on this board for like under a minute is that it's pretty steady. Um, you may notice that the back chop is very similar to the Nixie Newport G4 board that I just reviewed. And that's because it's shot in the same location I'm doing on the same day. This is a different part of Bunsen Lake. So we're kind of going towards the south end now. So with the tower board, it's pretty steady. And I mean, it's going on at a decent clip. So one thing that is kind of a con is that there's no deck lacing here for here or the back of the board. Ooh. <laughs> Almost fell in there. Okay. There's no deck lacing. And I mean, not the biggest deal in the world, but it's kind of just nice to have, especially you have like a nice speaker or you have a water bottle because most water bottles, especially they're round. So you can imagine if I was trying to keep a water bottle on here, it would just roll off. So that's definitely a con with this. The on-water performance is pretty good. Um, I'm paddling at a clip here. It's, a, it's, pretty, it's fairly maneuverable. The tracking is decent, um, especially for a board of its price. I think it was about, is on sale. There's an on sale price for like, something like $400 US. I'll have to correct myself as soon as I look this up because I kind of forget. But I mean, yeah, so far my initial opinion is if you were looking for a bit of a budget board and it's between this and like an Amazon sort of board, I'd probably choose this one. It actually, it handles fairly well. Um, we're gonna do some maneuverability tests next to see how it goes. Okay, so a major stability test that we can do is some of these backwards and forward sweep strokes. So let's see how this board performs. Also, I'm kind of at a standstill right now. Steel feels pretty stable. So I think tower gets some points for stability for sure especially for its price. Um, my feet aren't really like wobbling or anything. I wouldn't say it's as steady as my Nixie, but it's it's not half bad. So let's do this maneuverability test here. Do a little sweep stroke like that. Yeah. So when I do that, there's definitely a little bit of like a counter twitch that I gotta do. So, if you're doing those sweep strokes, you know, practice them a little bit on this board. It's definitely doesn't feel as planted into the water as the Nixie, but 
Yeah, let's now try the forward sweep stroke. Okay. Oh yeah, there's sticks there. Cool. So you can kind of see, um, if you look at my other Nixie video, I'm a lot more planted into the water. So when I'm doing these sweep strokes, I have to kind of like do a little reflex kick to make sure that I don't just fall into the water. Okay, and now we are going to try to paddle at a decent clip here and see how this board kind of reacts here. I do like how it cuts through the water just because of its pointy shape. That is actually something I do kind of miss a little bit. I do miss the board cutting through the water. It just kind of looks cool. And I will say the tracking while doing this, not half bad at all. Like I've done one, two, three, four strokes. It's kind of tilting to the left, but still going. And also the wind is against me as well. So it might look like I'm moving like a snail. That's why. So yeah, not bad. This is also sort of like the lagoon portion of um, Bunsen Lake, which is, you know, pretty interesting. Kind of feel like getting transported back to Jurassic Park and you know, maybe one of those like water dinosaurs will just come out and eat me or something. Yeah. Make for some interesting GoPro footage anyway. So one thing I also wanted to mention was the paddle. Now the paddle is made of aluminum. You can kind of see how the blade is made. Um, I actually, it's a bit heavier. Um, so, I mean, it's a pretty standard paddle that you would get with, you know, like 400, 300, $400 paddleboard. But what I do like about it, even though it is a little bit heavier, not much, is the fact the way the paddle, the blade is designed, it's kind of designed so that it scoops water up, which I kind of find is nice. Definitely gives you a little more power per stroke if you're just casually paddling. And I also do like how this adjuster is pretty, looks pretty well made actually. You just adjust it to whatever height you want. I usually like to do around the max or wherever it kind of tells me to go. So at this, in this case, 16 inch, 40 centimeters, well, just, just above 40 centimeters. You also see that the blade has tower paddle boards as well, which is pretty interesting. Um, does this paddle float? Well, let's find out. Yeah, it does, but you know, don't keep it in the water too long. All right, this is the on-water performance for the Tower Yachtsman. Now we're at East White Rock Beach and pretty calm ocean conditions, I must say. So basically, just gonna do a little paddle test. Like right now, stability feels pretty good. My friend paddling it is a bit of a beginner, so He's there, he's had a little bit of difficulties standing on this board compared to other ones. So we'll just do a little paddle here. So how it performs, paddling fast. It's not too bad. Now we'll do a sweep stroke, see how it feels on the board. 
See right there, as soon as you get towards the end of the sweep stroke, you kind of feel a little bit unsteady. So in ocean conditions, which I must say is pretty calm, the board's not too bad, but there are steadier boards. And if you look at some of our on-water performance videos, you'll see what I mean. But overall, not too bad. Uh, definitely manageable. You just need a little bit of practice on this, I'd say, if you buy this particular board. It's not too bad. Okay, so what are my overall impressions about the on-water performance of the tower? Yachtsman slash Tower Adventure 2, because they're the same board, essentially. Um, pretty good. Like, for its price, I'd say, yeah. Uh, if you're on a budget, this would be a pretty good board to have. Um, it's, I wouldn't say it's the stablest board around, but I think a beginner can definitely learn on it. Like, to be honest, for like all my years on earth here, uh, my balance has always been pretty bad. So <laughs> the fact that I'm standing on this board and, you know, paddling away, tells you a little bit something there. But uh, no, so you can definitely learn on this board. Um, the conditions that I would use these boards are definitely something like this, where you're in the lake. It's actually a beautiful day here, Bunsen Lake. So calm conditions. I am not sure about um, windier coastal condition type conditions you know where there's more waves there's more surf so i'm not too sure how this board would handle i my old board had a pointy nose just like this tower one and i found that the waves really swayed it one way or the other so i'm not going to say that this board does the same thing because i haven't tried it out yet but I'll let you guys know, or I'll link it into the video. If you like this footage, uh, like and subscribe as we pass Mr. Log here. Ooh. All right, that about sums it up. Just wanted to give you guys a little bit of bonus footage. Um, just like look at the beautiful beauty of this place, you know? We got like these mountains up here full of trees it's beautiful here and like it's kind of funny because like over here it looks like there's nobody at this lake but actually if you go right past these two islands tons of people you just don't hear them yet mm -hmm.